Year two of the John Cross era begins September 5th. Jacksonville State opening the season, a top 10 matchup between the Gamecocks and Chattanooga. This time last year, you still hadn't gotten your feet wet. How does it feel now as you go into year two? Are you uh, as comfortable, I guess, the word to use? Well, they're real wet <laughs> anyway. But it's, uh, you yeah, know, just uh, going into second year, everything is more comfortable, I'd say that. I don't know uh, what that means for the season. Every year is different. Every team's different. So uh, a lot of continuity on our staff, annual players. We've got a lot of returning players. And we've got a tough schedule. You know, we make it through September. We'll kind of catch our breath a little bit in October because you got that open week there. But uh, they open up with chat, and then, you yeah, know, it's going to be a top ten match. Matchup and any polls you look at, and they got everybody back too as well. And uh, then going to Auburn and then uh, playing ten. Supposed to be pretty good. Well, I think yeah, it might be all right. You know, so two two openers are, are you know chat and Auburn's going to be really good. And then our our conference opponents, you know, coming in the first home game, Tennessee State. You know, we moved that game in place of the Furman game, so that game's going to be really good too. And uh, Tennessee State's always really good. And then we got to go on the road, you know, for our second uh, conference opponent, which is Martin. So that's going that's a tough September. Any way you draw it up so uh, you know hopefully we'll have a good fall camp we've had a good all season up to this point done everything we can do possibly uh, to, to be the best we can be so far so hopefully that'll just continue each and every day when we start fall camp you set the bar high last year you won 10 games won the regular season title and you did it impressively you go eight no how do you top that this year well you know they asked me that in a press conference a while ago just uh, I, I think uh, you know, it's funny to say that you, you had a bad taste in your mouth at this point, but this team does. And, and our staff and our team is, you know, just really, i seen that hunger. You know, when we come back in January just to, to get back at it and get to the point that we were in the playoffs last year to, you know, to, to lose to Michigan State on the road and then win 10 straight and then uh, – to finish uh, the season out with that loss, it just hurts. You know, we didn't make it. Uh, we didn't make our team goals. So this team's hungry to get back to that point, and and hopefully we'll be able to do that and and uh, do something a little bit better with uh, with the opportunity we're given. Uh, you know, when we make the playoffs. Talk to Eli. Talk to Junior. Ask them about the fact you're picked to win the league. What are your thoughts on being the the front runner in the OVC in 2015? Well, it's like I said last year. It's where we want to be. Yeah, you know, we want to be there every year, and and hopefully uh, it don't mean anything. You know, like I said, every year is different. Every team's different. Uh, you know, the conference will be different. We we got a uh, the parity is still. I said last year is it's an all time high. You know, so a lot, it's a return league. I mean, we got a lot of folks. It's got a lot of people back. So you're gonna see a lot of great games. In in the OVC this year. I wouldn't surprise me every Saturday that if most of the games were not a touchdown game. So it's going to be how you play each and every week. But uh, I think, uh, you know, just being – pick where we are, like I said, it's where we want to be. Twelve all-conference selections coming into this season. I'm six on offense and, what, five defense, and then Hamish the, the punter and all-OVC punter. So 12 guys tell them that's phenomenal, isn't it? What well, is? I mean, it's true to our guys and their performance on the field and, and what they built for themselves and, and a little bit for our team, too. You know, just, uh, you know, with uh, with the expectations comes uh, that for, you know, individuals as far as being selected to those teams and stuff. But I think every one of those guys would, you know, we got a bunch of team guys. They really don't care about those individual honors and that comes with a with a team success and they attribute it back to their their teammates so i'm sure there's i'm proud for those 12 but there's probably yeah i, I would say i'm a little partial but there's probably a few more that i would chosen to win on there as well that that hopefully will make their way on there as the season goes all right as you get ready for camp and that season opener one spot, at least to me, you lose both your starting linebackers last year. Defensively, is that the area that concerns you a little bit going? In? No doubt, because you got no game experience there. And uh, you know, last year where we had a lot of inexperience in the secondary, you got all the experience back. Those guys were all returning, and uh, up front guys are back. So de definitely defensively, you know, with the linebacker core is, I feel like they're they're athletic. Uh, they're going to have a good year, but they're untested. So uh, same kind of way we felt like about secondary last year. You know, they were kind of untested and didn't have that game experience but uh it'll take those linebackers a couple a couple weeks to get their feet wet but i think you know if they progress the way that we think that they will and the way they have an all season i think they ought to have a good year well, you get Tremaine Pope and Miles Jones back, but you got to replace Demarcus James, and I guess that's the biggest hole on offense. It right? is, and, and I feel like we feel like that uh, you know Pope and Jones are ready to do that. I, I think both of them have had tremendous off seasons, and uh, you really have matured. Uh, it's kind of been good for them the last couple of years to to play behind Demarcus and split time, and you know they they've they've uh, you know carried a third of the load pretty much the last two years, and it's going to be those two guys getting it done. And uh, you know we got one newcomer there. 
there. You know, we got Josh Clements that you'll soon learn that name pretty quick. I think he's going to be a be our you know, be our guy that's in the mix because we're going to play three as much as we run the ball. And uh, but hopefully, you know, all all three of those guys are going to have really good years. And I look for Pope and Jones just uh, you know knowing the offense and playing as much as they have. I think they're ready for the challenge of, of replacing the markets. But that is the biggest, you know, uh, to me the biggest shoes we have to fill. You know, it's kind of like the year before having to uh, replace Griff. Griff you right. know, and, and Connor having to do that. Uh, that's what Pope and Jones have got to do to replace him to Marcus. And there's really no replacing him because he's a unique runner. I, I don't think there's another runner like him in the country. And uh, I, I think, you know, Pope and Jones bring a little bit different flair than what he does. But we're definitely not going to replace him. We just look to, 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 you know, make sure that we are being as productive as we can with that position.